Okay, today I'm sure Lord Cantor. This is requested from uh, my community post, and I said first come, first serve, and he was requested. He's a fairly big Minecraft YouTuber with around 40k, I believe, and he has a nice looking skin, but it's kind of difficult. Anyways, the blocks you need are black powder, gray concrete, gray wool, gray powder, red concrete, red wool, red powder, string or bear block, I'd prefer string, white wool, white banner, stripped jungle wood, red carpet, white concrete, brown terracotta, brown concrete, brown wool, and brown powder. Those are the blocks you need, so pause and I'll grab all of them. Okay, the first nine blocks you need is your black powder to your white wool, so grab that now. Okay, let me break all these. Start off, get your gray concrete, and go three in a row, just like so. One, two, three. Then go two black powder, then three gray concrete. Now just double up on each thing, just like so. Where the black powder is, make a square of red wool on top of it. To either side of the red wool, go out two red concrete, and on the end bits, place a red powder. On the red powder and red concrete, place your string slash barrier block on the side of it. And then on top of the string slash barrier block, place your red powder, just like so. Okay. Go behind where the corners are and place placing blocks behind them, like so. And next, on top of those placing blocks, place gray powder. Fill the middle gap in with gray concrete, and then fill the next middle gap in with gray concrete as well. Okay. And the two middle rows, uh, columns, go up four gray concrete. So one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Okay. Get your string of bare block, and on the far gray powder and gray concrete, place it on the side of it. Then place a square of gray powder on top of those. And to the right, while going in towards the body, place two of gray wool vertically, just like so. Okay. Go in one row, just like so, and place gray wool, just like so. Also, uh, I made a mistake right here. Make these gray wool down here, just like so. Okay. Go back up. Place place some blocks behind the gray powder, just like so. And place gray powder on top of those placing blocks. Once again, place your string slash barrier block on the side of the gray powder twice. And then place two gray powder horizontally on top of the string. And going in towards the body, place the gray wall on the side of that. Okay. On the closest gray powder that goes towards the body, go behind it and place the gray wool. And towards the corners, place a place block and go up two gray powder vertically. Just like so. Okay. In the middle two blocks, place two red wool horizontally. And to either side of it, place a red concrete. Okay. Go get your red concrete and place them in the corners. Place red wool on the corners now and then place red powder in the middle. Just like so. Okay. Now we can move on to his side. Start off, get your gray concrete, and go across three, two times. So one, two, three, one, two, three. Go across a row of red powder, and get your string or barrier block, and place it all across the side. Then go across the red powder on top of that. Okay. Do a full row of place of blocks underneath. On the far right column, right here where these gaps are. Actually, that won't matter. Right here on the next column, get your white wool, go up two. Place a place and block above it, pop out two white wool, go in a white wool, pop out a white wool, and go up two white wool. Just like so in the pattern. Okay, and to the right, uh, to the left of it, get your gray powder and go all the way up in a straight row. Okay, and now repeating the same pattern as the white wool is popped out, place your string slash bare blocks on the block where the gray powder would need to be popped out, and then pop out the gray powder. Just like so. So there should be two down here, and one on top, uh, two up there, just like so. Okay. Next, get your gray powder and go all the way up on this next row, just like so. Okay. Then get your white wool and pop it out in these two spots, like so. 
We'll eventually put white banners in these spots, but I'll save that for last so we can just get the legs done first. Okay, let's do the same design as the opposite side of the leg. First, get your gray concrete and go across two rows. Then a full row of red powder. Then string a bear block on this side of the red powder with the red powder on top of it. A full row of placement blocks. Two white wool, pop out two white wool, go in a white wool, pop out a white wool, and go up two white wool. Next row, all gray powder. I get your string slash barrier block and place them in the area where the white wool would be. I place gray powder on top of the string slash barrier block. The final row is all gray powder. And the place your white wool popped out where it would be popped out, just like so. Okay, then we'll finish off the back of the legs and then we'll do the white banners. Start off, get your gray concrete and place two squares at the ends and place a square of black powder in the middle, just like so. Okay, next, get your red powder, go across two from the ends, then do a square of red concrete in the middle. On the red powder, place string slash barrier block on the side of it, and then place one red powder on top of each block you chose. Okay, on the ends, go up two gray wool, vertically, and then place two rows of four gray concrete in the middle. In the two columns, go four gray concrete. So one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Okay. On the two final blocks, where the gray wool and gray powder is, place two string slash barrier block on both sides. Then place a square of gray powder on top of that. And going in towards the body, place two gray wool vertically. Okay. And go in a row, place your gray wool, then a placement block with gray powder next to it. Then pop out a row of gray wool, like here. Then your string of bear block twice on both sides with two gray powder on both sides. Just like so. Okay. And to end it off on the corners, place one gray wool. And the four blocks right here go across the red concrete and go up one diagonal on each side of the red concrete. And then four red wool in the middle. Just like so. Okay. With that done, you can drop your gray powder and your gray wool and grab your white banner now okay with your white banner go to where the white wool is and just place it like this just like so I know it's not the exactly same white color but you have to make do same on the opposite side and just place it just like so <clears throat> once done you can drop that okay and go back to the front and let's reorganize the inventory move the reds over uh, we can put the white away for now, grab your strip jungle wood, red carpet, and uh, I guess I'll already grab the white, because with the empty, empty spot. Okay, start off, on the corners, go up one red concrete. Then to the left of it, or go in towards the body, place the red wool, and four red powder in the middle. Okay, get a full row of placement blocks on the arms, going out three and going in three, just like so. You can see his little girl arms, just like so. And then get your ship jungle wood and make sure you place the same way on each block, just like so. And once done, you could drop your, you could not drop it, you could break your placing blocks. Boom, boom, boom. Once again, don't hold the button down and press, the, put them on because then they'll face in different directions and you don't want that. And since it is jungle wood, it is very unnoticeable, but if you notice it, it is very noticeable then. Okay. The row of jungle wood closest to the body, place a red wool, pop it out, and go up two for both arms. Okay, next get your string slash bear block, and on the last two jungle wood, place it on the side, and go up two columns of three red powder. Just like so. Okay, in the middle, go across two, I mean, not what am I saying, on the red concrete, go up three red wool, both sides. And now in the middle, go across two rows of red powder. Okay. On the ends, you can go up one red powder. And in the middle, you can place four black powder. At the ends of each black powder, go up one diagonal. Giving a nice little smile. Okay. Go back to where the red wool is, that's inside, to the inside towards the body. Go up two more, and then go in one right above where it's popped out. Just like so. 
Okay, back to the middle, get your red powder, and go across three rows. So one, two, three. Where the red powder and red wool are about to connect, face a black powder, just like so, giving you his smile. Okay. On top of the black powder, go up two red wool. And on top of the red wools, go up three red concrete. And going out towards the body, to out, out away from the body, go two red concrete vertically. Just like so. Okay. Next, get your red powder on the far rows, go up two. One, two, one, two. In the middle, two columns, go up three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Okay. On the far right row, you can go up one red powder. On the far left row, get your gray concrete, place one, pop it out. Then go in two gray concrete upwards. Then pop out a gray concrete. And then go in one gray concrete upwards. Just like so. For the right side, place a gray concrete, pop it out. Go up one inwards. Go out one inwards. Uh, go out one popped out. And go out one. Go up one inwards. Bit of a tongue twister. Okay. Where the two top ones are popped out, place two red wool popped out. Place two placing blocks here, and then two strip jungle wood. And these six gaps fill it in with red wool, just like so. Okay. Get your red wool and move it all the way up to the ends of the red concrete for the arms, just like so. Okay. Next, get your red wool, and where the eye is, go pop out one and go down and go across to the end of the arm. Make sure you do for both sides, just like so. Then on the two gaps where the red wool is, place red powder. Okay. Now go underneath and get place some blocks behind the red powder and go up two columns of four red powder on both arms. Just like so. Boom and boom. And then end it off, get your red wool on top, in place two, like so. And now we can go back down here. Go behind the red powder, place two placing blocks, and then red powder on top of it. Just like so. That's the front of Lord Cantor done. Pause if you need to. Okay, let's move on the side of his arm. Start off, get your string attached barrel block, place it on each block. Okay, on the ends, go up three red powder. And in the middle, go for black powder all the way. Just like so. Go behind it and do a full row of placing blocks. In the middle, place two black powder, and on the end, place a red powder. Okay. Pop out red wool on the ends now. And place two black powder. Place two string on the black powder. Then a square of black powder on top of that. To either side, on top of the red wool, place a red powder. Now go in two placing blocks. Just like so. Get your black powder and go all the way up. Then get your red powder and go up four. And with a red bull on top. Just like so. Okay, let's do the opposite arm now. Get your string chest barrier block. Boom it all the way across. On the ends, go up three red powder. In the middle, do two columns of three black powder. Place a row of placing blocks in the middle. And place two black powder and a red powder at the end. Place two string of berry block on the black powder with a square of black powder on top of it. To the ends, place the red wool, then a red powder on top of it. Okay, and then go inwards and place a full row of placing blocks. Then get your black powder and go all the way up in two columns. Then get your red powder and go up four blocks with red wool on the top, just like so. Okay, now we move on to his backside. Okay, we'll just finish off the arms first and then we'll move on to the full back. Start off, get your string size barrier block, place it on the two far <coughs> whoa, place it on the two far ends, and go up two columns of three red powder, just like so. Okay, going in towards the body, do a full column of three red 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 wool, just like so. Place one placing block behind the red powder, and then place the red powder on top of the placing block. Place the red wool next to those red powders, just like so. Now pop out three red wool all the way across, and go up one in towards the body. 
and place two red powder in those two gaps on both arms. Just like so. Go to the top, go in one red wool. Just like so. On the right side, go in three red concrete from the top of that. And on the left side, go in four red concrete. Just like so. On the left side, go down two red concrete on the far left. On the far right bottom block, go down one red concrete like so. On the far right, go down two red concrete. On the far right, <laughs> then on the far left of the bottom block, go down one red concrete. Just like so. Okay. Now go behind the arms, place placement blocks, and fill it all the way up with red powder. Just like so. And just like so. Except on the right arm, there's only one column of red powder and then one column red wool. I don't know why it's different. I don't know why your skin's like this, it just is. Okay, go back to the bottom. Place red concretes at the corners, just like so. Okay, then go across two red wool on the left, and then three red wool on the right. On the left side, go across two red wool. Then go all up three, just like so, with a red concrete. Then go up three more and connect it to the top red concrete. Now the right side, make a square of red wool. Then go up two, then place the red concrete, and then go up three, just like so. On the left side, pop out two red wool, not popped out 3D, but like popped out like that. Then go all the way up, and completely surround the red concrete, just like so. And on the right side, place one red concrete on the top tip, and go down two vertically right there, with only connecting them by diagonals. Now get your red powder, and fill the whole middle in, just like so. And yeah, his back is very symmetrical like the rest of his body, which is very unfortunate. It would have been, I think it looks better, uh, you know, symmetrical than not. And that's the back of Lord Cantor done. Pause if you need to. Okay, let's put on the top of shoulder blades. Start off, place a square under, under for placement blocks with black powder on top of it, just like so. And then get your red carpet and place it on top of the red concrete just to cover it. Like so. Once done, you can drop your red concrete, your red powder, I'm just double checking. Yes, your gray concrete and your black powder. Okay, let's reorganize the inventory. Just like so. Let's move the white over, the white concrete. Do you still need the string? Yes, you do. Okay. We'll just grab these and this. Okay. To start off, <clears throat> Place a brown concrete at the corner, right here, on the right side of the side. Then go across two rows of placing blocks on the front. Get your strip jungle wood, and just place it on top of each block, one by one. Just like so. Okay. On his left side, place a brown terracotta right here. Now you can break the placing blocks, if you haven't done so already. Go in towards the back of the side of the head. We're going to just do this first. Get your strip jungle wood and go across three and then two on the end, like so. Do the same for the opposite side. Go in three and go up two on the end, just like so. Okay, now go to the front of his face. In the middle two uh, uh, columns, make a square strip jungle wood. Once done, you can drop your jungle wood. On the end blocks, place a white wool. And then on top of the white wool, place the white concrete. Once done, you can drop both of those. Okay, next to the white wool, place the brown concrete. And on top of the brown concrete, place the brown terracotta. Okay, let's just reorganize the inventory now. Just like so. Just move everything closer. Okay, on the ends, place a brown terracotta. Okay, on top of that brown terracotta on the left side, place a brown terracotta and pop it out. On top of that, place a brown concrete, move it in one to the right. On the far left brown concrete, go up two brown wool, move it one on the right on the top block. Go behind it and go in two brown concrete just like so. Okay. Get your brown powder and place one above this bottom brown concrete. Okay, now go to his left eye, his right eye actually, and place a right co red concrete on top of the white concrete. Then go across four red wool. Now place a red concrete on top of the other red white concrete. So from the, starting from the left, go across three red concrete, just like so. 
then a brown concrete on the end. And on next to the brown con and on top of the brown concrete next to the red wool, place two brown wool. Okay. Next to the brown powder, go across the brown concrete and a brown wool. Where the brown wool is inside, place two string and go across four brown powder, just like so. On the middle three blocks, place three brown wool popped out. Go to the end right here, pop in a brown wool, just like so. And to the right of it, go across two brown concrete and down one. And in that one gap right there, place a brown wool. Go to the right side of it, is left side of the side actually. Place a brown terracotta, pop it out, and go up two. And fill that final gap in with two popped out brown concrete. Just like so. That's the front of Lord Cantor done. Pause if you need to. Okay, let's do it on the right side of the side. Start off, get your brown terracotta, place one, then a brown concrete, and then three brown terracotta. Okay. Place a brown concrete here. Skip a block, place a brown concrete. Skip a block, place a brown concrete, and go up one brown concrete. Okay. Place brown wool in those two gaps, and in the middle brown concrete, place the brown wool. In the three gaps, place brown powder now, just like so. Okay, go to the far right side of his head, and where the two brown terracotta are, on the top one, pop it out. Place a brown concrete on top of it, and a brown wool on top of that. Now go in a block, and place a brown terracotta. On the top right brown concrete, go in three. And then place a brown terracotta, and go out one brown concrete to the left, and down one brown concrete on the terracotta. Okay. Go across three brown wool from the concrete to the terracotta, and go down one on the far right end. And to the left of that, place a brown concrete. Okay. Get your red wool in the bottom right corner, place one. And to the left of it, make a Z shape with red concrete. And go across four red wool to the left. And on the second to last block, place a red concrete. Onto the left and top, the top and the left of that red concrete, place a brown wool, just like so. To the right of that brown, red concrete, place a brown concrete, pop it out, place two brown wool to the left of it, and on the far left block, place one brown wool up, with a brown powder in that corner. Okay, place a brown concrete right here next to the brown wool, then go up brown wool, just like so. On the two far end brown wools, place a string slash barrier block on the side of it, the brown powder on top of that, then three brown wool to end it off, just like so. That's the side of Lord Cantor's head done. Pause if you need to. Okay, let's move on to the other side of his head. Start off, get your brown concrete, go across two, then three brown terracotta. On the far left brown concrete, go up one. On the far left brown terracotta, go up one. And on the far right, go up two brown concrete. Get your red brown wool and fill in the two gaps. On top of the brown terracotta, place the brown concrete. Fill in these three gaps with brown powder, just like so. On the far right side, place two red wool, then two red concrete, and then three red wool. And on the far left red wool, go up one. On the far left side, pop out two brown terracotta and go in one brown terracotta. Okay. Next to the popped out red wool, place a brown wool next to it, pop it out and go up one and one on the right, just like so. On the first red concrete going towards the face, place a red place a string slash barrier block, a brown powder on top of that, and a top left diagonal brown powder on top of that. On the first brown powder, place a ground concrete to the right of it, just like so. Go behind that brown powder and place a brown powder. On the far left, go up two brown wool, then a brown concrete on top of it. Go across two brown terracotta at the top, and on the far left one, go down one. Place a brown concrete there, making a square. On top, where the brown terracotta is, go across three brown concrete, and then one brown terracotta to end it off. Where the three brown concrete is, go down one in the middle, and go down one brown concrete on the brown terracotta. Completely surround that first brown concrete in the middle of the three with brown wool, just like so. Place a brown terracotta on the brown concrete all the way in the end, and go down one on the left side, and then place two brown wool to end it off. That's the side of Lord Cantor's head done, pause if you need to. Okay, start off on the first layer, start from the left side, get your brown concrete, 
gold class three, then a brown terracotta, then a brown concrete, and then a brown wool. And it should look like that from underneath. Okay. Next, starting from the left, go in two brown terracotta, then a brown concrete, and then three brown terracotta. Then from the left again, red concrete, two brown concrete, brown powder, red concrete, and brown concrete. Start from the left, brown powder, red wool, but pop it out and go up one red wool above that. Brown wool, brown powder, red wool, but pop it out and go up one, and brown powder. Okay, start from the left, red concrete, two red concrete, and a red concrete. Okay, start from the left, red wool on top of the red concrete, red concrete next to it, two red wool popped up horizontally, like so, making a lowercase n, or upside down u, red concrete to the right of the red wool, and brown wool at the end. Go to the far left, where this brown wool is, pop it out, go up a brown terracotta, and to the right of it, place a brown wool, and this red concrete right here, place a string or bear block, brown powder on top of it, and to the top and left right of it, place a brown wool. On top of these brown wools right here, place one brown concrete. To the right of it, place a brown wool, and then go up. Uh, actually, those are brown terracotta, it's not concrete, my bad. Just like so. And this is a brown concrete, not terracotta. Okay. Up here, go up two brown concrete vertically and go across two to the right horizontally. Okay. Place a brown concrete inwards right there. Then a brown wool, and then on top of that brown wool, place a brown powder, and to the right of that brown wool, place a brown powder. To the right of that brown powder, place a brown wool, and on the top brown terracotta, brown powder, place a brown terracotta. Okay, then this far left corner right here, place a brown concrete, pop it out, and then on top of it, and to the right, place a brown terracotta, and end it off with a brown wool in the corner, just like so. After the back of Lord Cantor's head done, pause if we need to. Okay, let's move on to the top of his head now. Starting off with the back left corner. Place a brown wool popped out. A placement block with a brown powder popped out underneath it. And to the right of that brown wool, a brown terracotta popped out. Okay, and now we're gonna go left to right from each row. Starting off, one brown terracotta in that corner. Next row, two brown wool. Two placement blocks underneath. Two brown powder. Two brown wool. Next row. One brown concrete, two placement blocks underneath, two brown powder, one brown wool, two brown concrete. Next row, one brown wool, one placement block underneath, one brown, uh, two placement blocks underneath, uh, two brown powder, two brown wool, three brown wool, about my bad. Next row, two brown wool, two placement blocks underneath. Two brown wool. Next row. One brown wool. Two brown concrete. One place and block underneath with brown powder. Brown wool. Brown concrete. Next row. One place and block underneath. Brown powder. Two brown wool. A place and block underneath. Brown powder. Two brown wool. And to end it off, three brown wool. And now for the final detail. With these three brown powder or vertically, pop uh, pop out the top two, go across one and go up one, making a thunderbolt slash uh, Tetris piece. To where these two horizontal ones are, go to the left, place a brown wool, and to the diagonal top left of that, place a brown wool. Okay, to the far right of this brown powder, make a same shape but with brown wool going down one more, just like so. That's the top of the Lord Cantor's head done. Pause if you need to. Okay, and with that, Lord Cantor is done. This was the request, and I think I did a good job at building him. If you have more Minecraft skins or YouTube's what we do, I can do it, or at least I can try.